Ja, wow.
How y'all doing? John Henry Bonham! <sighs> the thunder of drums. The hammer of the gods. The beast! Bonzo. This is my percussive humble salute in recognition and respect of John Henry Bonham. See, the thing about Henry Bonham is the thing about John, the thing about Bonzo, the thing about the beast is that he was a dude who carried himself with zero pretension. He was a master craftsman, a pioneer of rock drumming, who set the template so revered upon his death that the band called time upon their majestic unrivaled reign. I mean, that is very telling as to how integral John Bonham was to Led Zeppelin. It's like having a dish without one of the main ingredients, just best not cooked again because it's never going to taste the same. And I salute those guys for doing that. He was a master craftsman of his art. What he did at the time was to take something respected and a big deal by people like Art Blakey and uh, Louis Belson and obviously Buddy Rich and all these fantastic drummers, Bernard Purdy. He added power, he added thunder, he showed that you could come from a building site and you could get behind the kit and you could just be a clap of thunder, you could be a tornado. It was just a delight to see and me personally, it's like there, it was a language that he spoke without words through rhythm and I know that sounds pretentious and it probably is coming out of my mouth but you know that's what she said but hey, he spoke to me and I took what he was saying and I I put it through my own filters and I'm still doing it to this day and my goodness me, what an inspiration. I've held back from doing any Led Zeppelin songs simply because I hold John Bonham up there as, as such a, a godlike persona and so, um, well here it is, here's my take on A Fool in the Rain and although it is not perfect, it's never going to be perfect. I had thrifty bits in here and there. I'm a thrifty kind of guy, what can I say? Those thrifty bits, they, they add as flavouring throughout the song because the song tends to go on with the same beat while Jimmy is doing his widdly doodly doos. You know, another reason why they're so good is they all know when to sit back and let each person shine. There's no just overloading. But my flavouring, I like to just turn my mind off and go with the song and I'm not going to redo it. And you know what? You don't have to like it. You don't have to subscribe. I don't care. I just want people to acknowledge the beauty of this song, the finesse of John Bonham's absolute in-the-pocket, glorious feel. His groove is something that will always be sorely missed, but thank God for it. Oh, and may I just say, also, this song was directly influenced by Bernard Pretty Purdy with the Halftime Purdy Shuffle. And, you know, that guy with his triplets, you got to love him. His infectious personality and his feel. John Bonham took that and he 
devoured it and regurgitated his own version, which is Fall in the Rain. And then, in the 80s, Jeff Beccaro from Toto did the same thing. He took it to the third level. And Rosanna... is pretty much the purdy shuffle morphed with Bonham's Fall in the Rain and out comes the regurgitated, that sounds really bad, you know what I mean. It's awesome to know that there's a linkage between those songs. It's a different song for Zeppelin, I consider it to be a summertime song, it's a lot more upbeat, um, I think Jimmy Page left his Alistair Crowley stuff on the shelf for this one, there needed to be some shun sunshine, um, and boy did they deliver it, right at the end of their career as well. But man, it just shows you how they were growing as a band, how Bonham was growing as a drummer. This song, I, I love it because it is simple and complex at the same time. There's a lot of an art, there's a massive R&B vibe to it. But hey, enough of my yapping, because it's kind of hot in these rhinos. I've taken off my makeup, let's see if you can take off yours.